to another episode of Tuesday Night Smackdown yeah. Recap. And by far, Smackdown was better than Raw. At mm-hmm. least they beat them at that. I would admit Smackdown was pretty good. Yeah, it was. So, of course, it started off for all the page, and she's calling out Becky Lynch. Of course. And, of course... Charlotte comes out. Well, that was after this. The man, she's saying the man pulling herself in the game. And she said she's she's tired of seeing. She wants to be there now. Um, she doesn't want to sit there and see someone do her job. Like, because she's seen Charlotte beat on Rhonda. She wanted to do that. But her face was broken. But then she called out Charlotte. And then here she comes. And then they're talking. Charlotte's saying that she gave Rhonda the beating she deserved. And... She didn't do it for Becky or SmackDown. She did it for herself. And she says she is a genetic superior. Yep. That's why she did it. And why she's good. You mean genetically superior? Yeah. Because that did not make sense what you just said. Genetically superior. Yeah, at first I thought she was... It means, a, it means she's from pure-blooded stock because no. her daddy, Ric Flair. Duh. I thought she was going to say she's not gen- <laughs> um, genetically modified. You know, like that stupid commercial? <laughs> Or genderly superior. Well, anyway. And, of course, she says she was born ready. Like, she's born and she'll fight. She'll fight. She wants that title. Yeah, she's like, she could fight Becky right now. And then they're going at it, and Paige is like, hey, hey, hey. I, no, like, no, no. I, I like what you have a point, Charlotte. And it's an ad, and I like what I hear. And then she's sitting there saying that at TLC, it's going to be a table slotted chair, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte for the title. And then you got Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville. All of them came out. And Iconics. All the women superstars came, came out. Came out and they're talking, saying, of course, Paige would give the old PCP buddies a shot. And then, of course, Naomi, Asuka, Carmella, and Lana, they agree with Mandy. And blah 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 and that and of course Paige is like okay. The main event for tonight would be Of course she said there's gonna be a battle royal that will add and whoever wins will be added to the triple threat for the title at TLC. Mm-hmm. And that's the main event. So and then it went to the first match of the night. The Usos Usos First the bar. Yeah. The bar. No, yeah. they do this. Something like this, right? Like. They stick their thumbs out. Yeah. Even though my Missy can't stand them. No. No. But Big Show wasn't with the bar because it showed earlier Big Show with the bar and Cesaro was arguing with Big Show saying, where was he? Because they lost the Thanksgiving brawl. And Big Show just didn't want to hear it, and he just knocked out Cesaro. He punched him in the face really hard. Yeah. That's all you hear. You're fired! So, pretty much, it was... The whole entire time, Cesaro was like, oh, oh. So, pretty much, it was a two-on-two match, and the Usos won. The yeah. Usos were doing paying homage to Roman. Like, they were doing their little the little dance thing, and they... And they at some point in the match. Yeah. And then but it was there, actually good. Yeah, I mean, that match was actually a really, really good match. And the Bar's champion, right? Yeah, they are, so they get title shot. All right, Ashley, talk about the backstage, the, little, the weird backstage thing between The Miz and New Day. Yeah, they were first pretty much, I guess, picking on Miz because he lost against Jobbers and whatnot. Jobbers he picked out. Yeah. To fight with Shane McMahon. And whatnot. And. And. Miz is just like, you know what? You know what? And whatnot. I wasn't really yet listening, really. He ch- he ends up. He, it doesn't matter. What ends up happening is later on, the Miz ends up fighting one of the New Day members. Yeah. But anyway. And then. It wow, went, your your paper thing is all over the place. Yeah. 
And then AJ Styles, he's coming out. He answers to Dan Bryan, what Dan Bryan's saying about how he's the new Dan Bryan and whatnot. So, pretty much he was just saying he's that. He's saying he doesn't care which Daniel Bryan it is. He's getting punched in the face. Yeah, he don't he don't care. He's giving the breeding he deserves. Yep. And he's going to be the new, the champion again. That's pretty much really all he was saying, really. Yeah. All of this at TLC. To cut it all short. Everything he was saying, really, pretty much. So. Yeah, we cut it We cut it short. We, we can't be over here for another hour. So anyway, Justin, next match. Nakamura versus Rusev. Technically, it wasn't really a match, because... Then why did you make me call this out? You wasted my turn. No. It yeah, was, yeah, yeah, you just was, don't want me talking, do you? It was a no contest. It was supposed to be a match, but of course Nakamura... Nakamura attacked him while Rusev was in the mid-rippy shirt. So it's pretty much Kenman and Rusev Day. Rusev Day. No. Prefer no. Rusev no. Day the most. No. No Rusev Day, because he didn't get his time no. to shine, so you Come can't on, say it. Come on, Yeah, no, it's more Rusev Day. No, you don't say Rusev Day because he didn't do anything. Well, he, he just ri to. he just barely ripped his shirt and then Nakamura knocks him out. There is no Rusev Day. Rusev Day got uh, got looked over. Well, anyway, and then there there was. A... I'll say the Jeff Hardy okay. thing because the Rusev Day got cut short. Right. Try to cut me out of all this. Okay, then cut me out of all this. Okay, then talk about the Jeff Hardy yeah. thing. All right. It's a 20, 20th anniversary of Jeff Hardy being in the company. And they showed a little small clip, about uh, a little promo clip about it. All the superstars and stuff were all uh, were out there. Everybody thanking Jeff. And then out of the blue, Samoa Joe pops in and starts bringing up saying, Oh, Jeff, yeah, congratulations, but you know what? Why don't you tell everybody about... Well, he didn't say it outright, but he was implying about all the drugs and drinking or whatever just been doing the entire time, saying that he can't remember the 20 years that he's been there, saying that he doesn't respect anybody who's weak. And then Jeff's like, you know what? If I'm feeling frisky, let's fight. Come on, let's fight. And we got Shane McMahon and Paige right there, and we got a whole bunch of referees behind them. Nope, nobody calls it. Small Joe just, wa just sn uh, smiles and wa walks back into uh, into the locker room. Yep. I pretty was that. Yep. And then Missy. It, well, Flappy Jacks come out. Um, but and then throwing um, pancakes to all the overweight kids. So, we saw that. So pretty much this next match is Kobe Kingston versus The Miz. Yep. That was kind of a fu that was of kind of fun. Of course, The Miz likes to cheat. No, he didn't yeah. even, he barely cheated. He tried. He tried. Well, yeah, he tried. Because he tried to take the a thing off the ring post and then... That was he, creepy with Big E what he did. With the pancakes kind of stacked up in the ring post. How is that even creepy? Well, Having the pan it's creepy. No, it's creepy. It's like right in the corner. Like really all stacked out like this. Missy, how is it, how is that creepy? He's softening the blow. But... Anyway, the ending, well, of course, Xavier Woods was playing a trumpet, and then he dropped, kicked him, the Miz drop kicked him, and then, of course... Biggie went to try to go find out if Woods, if, uh, Woods is all right. And then, of course, Miz is like, mm, don't want nothing to do with Big E. And the ref's eyeing up uh, Big E, yeah, keeping his eye on him, and then the Miz goes and grabs a chair and tries to attack, and then... No. Nope. Trouble player dice. Yeah, but that's wins. the thing. But you don't know where those pancakes have been, and you've got them all stacked up like that. You know that's why I, I said it's creepy. Yeah. Then pulled them out of his pants again. Yeah. So um. Oh no! Let's we'll see what happened. Show. Tell them what happened with the Miz backstage. That was way more creepy. Well, with that fake plasticky dollar store trophy. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, there was it was Randy Orton. He's out there. He's talking. He's talking about Rey Mysterio. No, it was the Miz. And then this. Ra Randy came after the Miz thing. Mm -mm. I remember. I remember. Just say it. Doesn't matter. Either way, you're gonna say it. Whatever. Well, fine. Let's talk about the Miz then. Okay. Well, Miz was backstage. He's talking to Shane. He's saying, "Where were you, Shane? You're supposed to be my partner. What not?" That title is shared between us because yeah. you had to co uh, compensate me for because I couldn't participate in the match. It's our baby. Yeah. Act like a father. That's Very weird. Much. And 
then go for Randy. And now I'm for Randy or and he was out talking about Rey Mysterio. But he was holding the mask that he um, the, the mask he took off him last week. Yeah, and he was he did what it to make Ray another victim. Saying that the feeling he had doing it was ecstasy. And then of course and then Ray Mysterio comes out and of course they're fighting at it, going back and forth. Ray's trying to get some. He gets a chair and then of No, course, let's see no, because Ray, uh, Ray Hits him with two six one nines. Yeah. And then Ray gets a chair. But when he was getting into the ring, Randy did a DDT on the ropes. And of course, he's throwing Ray around, throwing him into the barricade, and he takes the chair. And he slams it on his throat again, but this time on the steps. He kept yeah. trying to get the mask off. Yeah. Then security and everybody He's showed up. He's trying to destroy Ray. Pretty much. He really Randy? wanted to take that mask off. No. Remember, look, Randy's getting old. He's th worried that he's not... He's he's having his midlife crisis. He feels that the kiddies don't buy his toys no more. They want the oldies. He's getting out. He's he's getting obsolete. And now let's just go talk about the... Um, and then the main event was the Battle Royal and the winner adds to the Becky and Charlotte match at TLC. It was Carmella, Mindy, Rose Deville, Iconics, Lana, Oscar, Naomi. And that match, okay, it was... Yay for everyone got thrown... Everybody got thrown out except for Sonya Deville and Asuka. And yep. you were saying that Asuka was... Well, well, uh, either way, if Asuka won this... They're probably not going to give her a chance. They never get... And why is that? Why aren't they going to make her the because champion? Because she can't speak English. That's what I hear. Lana probably would have won it if Skank it and Skank... But honestly, whatever. do you see Lana actually winning? Unless she pulls a special miracle out her uh, out her t uh, her tidy whities I don't know. But unless she can no. actually cheat... But, but then we... again, she can cheat because it is a ladder match. So right? it's actually going to be Becky Lynch versus Charlotte versus Asuka at TLC in a TLC match. I uh, no, That's I thought it was a ladders be... match. Mm -mm, TLC match. Paige said it. If it's a TLC, then it's not going to be the title is hanging on a rope for them to grab. TLC means you're beating the crap out of everybody with tables, ladders, chairs, stairs, anything well, you get your hands on. There. No, it isn't. Cause it li cause it'll be a ladders match. If it's t if it's a TLC match, it means that everything's a weapon, and whoever and whoever gets know. pinned it's or submitted. No, it's a TLC match. Paige said it. Tables, ladders, and chairs. If it was a ladders match, then yeah, the tile be dangling. Now, it's TLC, but meaning table. Someone's going to get th thrown through a table. Someone's going to get slapped. To, uh, slap the hell with a, sh with a chair. and You know that Kendall stick is going to come into play. Yeah. You know that. Of course, probably Charlotte. <laughs> but that match is going to be a really good match because you got three good wrestlers, Oscar, Charlotte, and Becky. All three yeah, good wrestlers. That's going to be, so. that's a tough match, but. I don't know. I mean, I like. All three Becky. of them are tough. I like Becky, I like Charlotte, and I like yeah. Oscar. I so. like all three, but I All of them are respective champions. So. Who would you who would you want? A lot of people probably say Oscar. A lot of people say Charlotte. Some will say Becky. You know for a fact everybody's gonna say Becky either way. So how did you like SmackDown? What did you like? Did you like the Battle Royal? Why don't you talk talk to the if while we're on the subject, why don't you tell them about the mix match challenge and how weird that was? Uh, okay, the first one was Mahal and Alicia Fox versus Amber Moon and Hawkins and Hawkins is replace so was replacing really Braun Strowman. Magic carpet ride versus Moon. Pretty much, but Mahal and Foxy won because okay Hawkins screwed up big time. He just screwed up. He because Amber Moon got this. She he she did a move on the top rope on on Foxy and Hawkins tagged himself in and he's pinning. Pinning Foxy, uh, you don't go against the girl, you go against Mahal, so he doesn't really know that, I guess. So Mahal does a move and pins him. So yeah, that causes the match. So Amber Mood and Hawkins don't be 30, number 30 in the Rumble? No. 
Well, remember, um, if you're gonna put Hawk in any kind of event or any kind of match, he's losing anyways. Put him in a he's got the world match. record. Put him in a Hornswoggle match, or put him in that trip. He might actually win. Hornswoggle match. No, or he'll lose. Shrimpy, no, rush. no, it doesn't matter. Hawkins is gonna lose. You can't. But anyway, also there was B and B, Balor and Bailey Yay. versus Lashley and Mickey James. Balor Bailey won. I'm happy. Balor yeah. Bailey won. Bye bye, annoying Leah Rush. Bye, bye. Shrimpy. Then um, Balor Bailey do a dirty dancing. Yeah, game. at the end, uh, that Bailey was running to uh, Finn and doing the dirty dancing like they did when you were at NXT. That was cool. They're cute. I like Balor and Bailey. Mm hmm. But, um. What did you guys feel about SmackDown Live or the Facebook only show, Mix Max Challenge? Yeah, next week it's gonna be on Challenge. It's gonna be, I think I said Miz and Asuka versus Naomi and Uso. And, right? Yeah. And Truth and Carmella versus Flair and Jeff Hardy. So, look for that next did you, week. Did you like the where uh, Nakamura cheated and freaking just, like, yeah. knocked him out before he even had a chance to even start? Are you a fan of Nakamura or Rusev? Yeah, Rusev. Do you like, come on, or do you like Rusev, Rusev Day, which is awesome? Oh. Or do you like how Missy's wearing pajamas right now? <laughs> yes. It's You're nighttime, so yeah. You're wearing your pajamas and some kind of it's polar bear. It's a bear, bear okay? So what? Well, I'm in my pajamas, but I'm sick. You're in, where, why are you in pajamas? Did you really walk all the way from your house to Ashley's in? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I had no problem. I was doing laundry today, so I decided to wear pajamas today. Why do I? Well, why don't you wear your wolf hoodie, see if, and walk um, on all fours throughout the, uh, during that little road right um, to your yeah, house. Let's see what happens. Maybe full moon. Yeah, we'll see no, what thank happens. You. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You want Styles or Danny Bryan? Yeah. Danny Bryan's winning that. He, they, they're keeping that. So, um, let us know. We want to hear from you, WWE fans. Yeah, tell us what you want us to, you know, if you know any other shows, or, you know, besides what we're, you know. Are there WWE fans that aren't 12 years old? <laughs> where are the older, where are the older generations? Where are the people who watched the, uh, watched it during 2000s and the Attitude Era? So, um, yeah. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back for more. Bye! Bye-bye!